Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Risen's Dark Tales. Tonight, we have a special treat for all of you, as our story will be told with supplemental visual aids provided by my good friend, Fenny M., a phenomenal artist and illustrator. Hopefully, with her help, we can tell the story of a boy and his two brothers more efficiently than ever. Tonight's tale is called Teeny Tiny and the Witch Woman. Once there was a family of three brothers. Big one, in the middle, and Teeny Tiny. Each morning, their mother said to them, You can play anywhere in the village, but do not go into the forest. Your granny says a witch woman lives there, where the trees are darkest. She eats little children and uses their bones to make a fence around her house. One day, when no one was looking, the trio went into the forest to play. After hours of searching, they realized that they were lost. After climbing a tree, Teeny Tiny found a light coming from the heart of the woods. to her home. Afraid? You needn't be afraid of me. I love little children. And so the boys ate dinner and went to bed. Except for Teeny Tiny. The moon was out in full and in its light Teeny Tiny saw the fence surrounding the house. The fence was made out of bones. Little human bones. Who is awake and who is asleep? Teeny Tiny answered. What can I get you? You Teeny Tiny was thirsty, and he insisted the old woman gather him some water from the well, using only a sieve. Oh dear, my magic object. Better to leave them here safe than to lose them outside in the dark by the well. Teeny Tiny woke his brothers and ran down the stairs. He grabbed the woman's magical objects from a shelf. A cake of soap, a needle, and a knife. And the three brothers ran from the house. I'll get you! Teeny Tiny threw the cake of soap. Teeny Tiny threw the needle. Ooh, you found my magic needle too. It's no use. I must run around them. <laughs> no, I'll get you. Teeny Tiny threw the magic knife. Ooh, you 
took my magic knife too! The chasm cut by the knife was too long to run around, too wide to jump over. Boys didn't stop running until they found their way back home. And so that concludes our story for the evening, ladies and gentlemen. And remember, stay out of the forest. <laughs>